What's up, everybody? It's Robbie, and I've got some My Team tips for you today. Let's get into some triple threats, online and offline. Which one's best for you? Well, both of them, if you do them the way that you have fun. How do you have fun? Use cards that you enjoy. I can't emphasize this enough. With how short triple threat online and offline games take time-wise, it's important to enjoy yourself. That's why we all play video games. I use lineups that don't necessarily include the best players in the game at the time, but I use players Welcome to 2K Sports Live Saturday night coverage of the NBA. Thanks for tuning in. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. We've got the Bruins and the Badgers. And it's the Bruins with the ball. Now the starting group for the visitors. D out there with Campbell. Then it's Smith. Then there's Jay, and it's Hill in at the five spot. Here's Campbell. Out to Smith. A steal. Passes it to King. It's deflected, and they get it back. He blocks it again. Here's Campbell. Yes, that goes in. And the Badgers with possession here. Buckets passes to Big Red. To the middle. It's taken away by Smith. Now, here is Singleton. Tight defense on him. Good work there as it goes. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now, here's King. The layup missed. A cold start for them. Three shots, three misses. Good thing is early. Jay, the pass to Campbell. Dishes it to Hill. Misses from close range. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. Now, here's Trice. Five to shoot. Here's Big Red. And again, it's the Badgers missing. Not how you want to start the game. Four straight misses. I, I'd like to see some better ball movement from them. Trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Pass to Campbell. Almost, but it rolls out. Here's the Badgers with the ball. Still without a basket in the game. Buckets, Campbell defending. Here's Trice. Can they get it? That's a miss. His second after two shots. 146 left here in the first quarter. Here's Jay. It's good from long range. Jay's got to cut five now. And good to get him going early. That, that shot should give him time out, time some confidence. Out. Yeah, it's all about establishing a rhythm. I mean, you start to see it fall, you, you begin to believe. And it'll be the Badgers with their first time out of the game right here. Trying to find some answers offensively. Some bad shot selection as well as some bad luck. I mean, that's not going to help you score points. Both teams deciding to change it up. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Anderson outside. Pass to T. Just five on the clock. From deep. 
That shot is off. The Bruins go the other way with it. A fader. No good. Turns an easy jump shot into a tough one by going to the fadeaway. I mean, look what happens. Passes to Big Red. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Well, now that they have that monkey off their back, you know, hopefully they can settle down and execute. Campbell, Campbell shots good. He'll take advantage of that kind of soft defense every time. Just give him a chance to attack the basket, and he will. The Wizard passes to Bottoms. Anderson against Campbell. Now the pass to the Wizard. Can't get it to fall. The D making that layup look very uncomfortable for him. Good aggressive work down low. The kid passes to Campbell. And he banks in the layup. Campbell's got six. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And so it's the visiting team in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They have made it very tough to get a shot off against them. Their defense has been stifling. And we'll be right back after this. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Bruins, what do you think, guys? You got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Well, no question. It's been stifling thus far. Preventing that offense from establishing any kind of rhythm. Campbell's gone three for four from the floor tonight. Taking a look at the Bruins, they've got buckets. Prime time is out there with a train. And there's Riley. And it's Campbell in at the point. Here's Big Red. Out to the right wing. Just four to shoot. Anderson outside. From deep. They get it again. It's blocked. Anderson against Campbell. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Anderson passes to Big Red, and it's good. Two points. Big Red's got his second basket of the night. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Campbell, the pass to A-Train. Campbell against Anderson. Pass to Ali. Puts up a three. The Badgers pull it in. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And here they come. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. This is his first free throw of the game. here for the Bruins. Smith checked in for the A train. And Jay subbed in for Campbell. So one for two that time at the strike. Now, here's Trice. Not a lot of room. Jay, the pass to Ali. Passes it to Bernard. Here is Riley. Ford with the steal. Now, Trice. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. 
Here's Potter. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Here's Jay. The Badgers pull it in. The Wizards got four rebounds in this game. Buckets. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Badgers shooting their first free throw tonight. And some changes here for the Bruins. Hill, he's checked in for Riley. The kid comes in for buckets. And it's Singleton in for primetime. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And the pass to Jay. And out of bounds as the Badgers gain possession. Here's Trice. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. Now here's King. Five on the clock. Jacks up a three. Connects from three-point range. Trice has got the game tied up here for the Badgers. That's a nice play. Getting the separation he needs for a clean look. Yeah, he may just have to put a little more arc under that. But either way, it's a tough shot. Pass to the kid. Or the three. The Badgers pull it in. The Wizards got five rebounds tonight. 115 left to play here in the second quarter. From past the arc. Doesn't go that time. The Wizards gone one of four so far. Jay the pass to Smith. Jay started by four. Count that one. Seven points for Jay. There's 47 seconds left to play here in the half. And if they're thinking, they can get a two-for-one here. You just have to manage the clock correctly. Now, sometimes it's easier said than done if you also want to get a good look. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Badgers shooting their second and third free throws tonight. First one drops, so both teams making some changes here. Both shots good from the strike. 35 seconds left now here in the second. Pick up the pace, get the two for one here. If that's how they want to end this quarter, they're going to have to score quickly. And Hill throws it down. Good to see a player going all out when the game's this tight. You know, GA, he knows what his job is patrol the offensive glass. Yeah, Kevin, second chance opportunity so big in this instance. They have to feel fortunate that they can extend that play. And again, it's the Badgers missing. Here's Jay. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. The Bruins on top, up by two. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, can't tell you uh, how, how much it means to us to have you back with us on the uh, halftime show on 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson, uh, Kenny the Jet Smith, 
spooky on you. Oh, means yeah. the world, doesn't it? it yes. Yeah. And guys, for the Bruins, Kenny, what did you see from them? They were simply the better team on the offensive end. Every time the defense made an adjustment, they would make an adjustment on offense. Winning that little cat and mouse game, they'll be difficult to beat. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Reminds me of myself at the free throw line. They have been shooting horribly out there. This is not a team that should be executing so poorly on offense. They need to completely revamp their approach, move the ball, set better screens, find the open man, get to the basket. They need to get to the basics right now. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take it down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Without question, Jay displaying his skills today. But, but really, the numbers aren't gaudy. They don't stick out, but his energy and impact does. Oh, you're right. Go in the locker room, ask anyone on his team. He's not worried about statistics as much as he is about winning. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Big run out there with Fresh. And it's Trice. Then there's Buckets. And it's King at the three slot. Big red passes to King. The Badgers working the ball around now. Six to shoot. Here's Big Red. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Badgers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. At the line number two. down the first one. He hits both from the strike. And it's the Bruins with the ball. Our second half of basketball and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the Bruins, they've got Campbell. Hill is out there with Smith. Then there's Jay, and it's Singleton in at the two-guard spot. Right now, they're looking for their first lead of the game. And no doubt, they definitely want this. Here's Buckets. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And it's the Bruins with the ball. Out left of the wing. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And it's a great move. And he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with the defense. The Bruins making a switch here. Miley's checked in. throw drops for Campbell and here in the second half of play we're just over a minute in now here's Trice Riley covering the shot by Trice no good down low here's Campbell nice pass led him to the rack perfectly for the layup Campbell's got 11 points and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game Now, here's Trice. Passes to Big Red. 
Riley grabs the miss. Slow to get warm after the break. Open three now. Maybe they need an early timeout. It's just to try to settle things down. Pass to Campbell. Ford with the steal. In transition. Here come the Badgers. They get it back. King's shot is off. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. Now, here's Singleton. And the Bruins tack on two more. They're on target from the start of the half. I mean, they're moving well. They're getting some good shots. Now, that makes them three for four from the field since halftime. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Six on the shot clock. The pass to Trice. And they get it. Ball's knocked loose. Pass break. Here we go. Here's Jay. And he uses the glass on the layup. Jay's got it. Got the lead up to nine now for the Bruins. That's their third straight make off an assist. Timeout, timeout. timeout called here. The Badgers will talk it over. Yeah, things not going their way. And he wants to just try to talk this one over. Well, the defensive intensity has to pick up, and I'm sure coach is going to let them know that. some changes. T comes in for Kent. And it's Bottoms in for Buckets. Then for the Bruins, the kid he's checked in for Jay. Buckets comes in for Singleton. And primetime subbed in for Campbell. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Buckets passes to Ali. Pass to Riley. So nice ball movement by the Bruins. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Here's T. No good that time. The Bruins go the other way with it. To the paint. Here's Smith. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Buckets passes to Smith. Up and in on the layup. And now it's an 11-point Bruin lead. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Trice, basket good. Trice has got seven. Now the Bruins with it. They're on a 13-4 run right now. This is it to Riley. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Let's it go from 14. No good there. T the pass to Trice. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go for him. And we've reached the end of the third. Bruins lead by nine. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the Bruins. They have a nine-point lead. Trice is out there with Bottoms. Then it's T. Then it's Fresh. And it's Big Red in at the five. Roman the paint. Trice. Chalk up two there. He's made the most of the halftime break. He shook off the problems he had in the first half, and he, he started to settle in. Here's prime time. Shot clock at six. 
from deep three-point range. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Jay's checked in for Smith. And the Badgers with possession here. They trail by seven. Trice passes to Big Red. Ford with the ball. Five to shoot. Launches a three. Good on the three-point shot. Ford's got himself on the board with three there. A pretty free look from three-point range. The D forgot about him on that possession. And he comes through at the perfect moment. I know who they'll look to if they need another big three again soon. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. Yeah, Coach is definitely pleased. That's the execution he loves to see. Uh -oh, with the second half he's having, I mean, his field goal percentage is way up there. The pass to Ali. Now Hill. And here is Campbell. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds. Still the Bruins ball. And the Badgers with some changes. Kings check in for Fresh. And it's Buckets in for Bottoms. The Bruins also with a sub. Singleton. He's checked in for primetime. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. Pass to Buckets. He kicks to Trice. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. King with the steal. Pass to Buckets. Tries with it. Here's Big Red. Campbell defending. Big Red passes to King to tie it up and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line Switch here. Ford's checked in. No good on the second free throw. And you know, you can't dwell on that one miss. They're still in a position here to take the lead if they can get a stop. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And rightfully so. Also, how lackluster was the defense right there with the score this time? The score now all even. And it's nine points for Big Red. So impressive. The, the fortitude, the will to battle back, but it did take a lot of energy to get here. Yeah, true. But we'll see if they can keep forging ahead for now. You got to give them credit for coming back. Timeout called the Bruins. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Jane. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to listen in on what the Bruins head coach was going over with his guys. This is still a close game, and he told his guys, we're not far away. We can still get this one. If we seize the moment, we can walk away with the win. It's good, and they get the go-ahead bucket. Trice has got 12 points in just the second half. And no matter what they've tried, the D just has not been able to deny them the ball inside. 
109 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jay. That's tipped. Tries with it. It counts. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Here's Kim. He dishes it to Smith. Hill left side. Down to five on the shot clock. Pass to Campbell. They need this. He can't get that one to fall. And they go to the intentional foul. Twenty-seven seconds left in the game. And an intentional foul right there. First one, and that puts them up by five. Second one is good. Getting both at the line, and it's a six-point ball game. They're jumping on the chance to up their lead at the line. Timeout called. The Bruins. They're trailing by six. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Singles in the pass to Campbell. Here's the pass to Jay. Offensive rebound. Pass to Singleton. Looking to end the run. Connects from down. Timeout. Timeout call here. The Badgers will talk it over. They're ahead by three. Five seconds left here in the fourth quarter. foul intentionally that's what they have to do at this point yeah you have to do that though you can't just let them dribble the game and get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And he does get the second one. And that gives them a four-point cushion. So it's the Panthers picking up the win. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. See you later.